Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. I think we're about ready to start doing our things. Um, there's still some things I need to move. I need to go around, but um, I think, I think, we're, I think we're, we're, we're close. We're close. So, so let's build the rail. Let's do the rail around the the world, shall we? Um, this is now 18 away. This is 18 away, correct? Yes. So if we come down here, there's going to be a town here. So I need to put in um, this thing. Do, do, do. Poppy. Oh, I can't put in that thing because I didn't delete the corners. We always forget that. We also need to get rid of all the stone and stuff around there, but that's okay. For the minute, we just want to put in this one. Copy here, basically. Which means I need to get rid of these. Okay, okay. Get rid of those. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Okay, we we'll have to get rid of that as well. Uh, might as well get rid of these as well. And that. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot bigger than I had originally envisioned the, uh, the thing being, but that's okay. That's okay. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, right. Okay. So, uh, attempt three. Copy. There we go. Awesome. Uh, I need to move you, but I can't move you because I'm not in creative mode right now, so we can't do that. Okay. So, we want to go 18 blocks away from here. So, that's 18. So, we go to the 19th block. We grab a rail. We run it down. And it should plug into there. Okay. And this rail should go down here. Should go over here. Uh, oh. Let me just figure out this one down here, which we have a place down here already for this. So we go 18 from here. Is there. So 19 is there. Four. Run that along to there. Yep, that connects everything together. Awesome. I'm going to have to remove this stuff here. Run this along and basically connect it to that one. Boom, there you go. And there's our first rail done. So the trains can come down here, go along, do the thing, go along. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. So this is town four. So this needs to be the fourth rail. Not the fourth wall, but the fourth rail. So, um, fix there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. One, two, three, four, five, six in between. So one there, one there, uh, one there. Nope. Not six in between. Six to the end, so no. Okay, so the length of this whole thing is 266 for this one. Um, it will be more as we go out even further. So, um, oop. Oop, trees there, trees. Plug that one into that one. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's connect this one to that one and this one to this one. It might not need the. Um... Uh, the beef, but I'm going to have it. I'm gonna have every everyone's gonna have the thing so if they need beef they got beef there um also um ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, i closed the thing for it but um uh i think it was 
Brandon, Brandon Harper. Thank you very much for mentioning. I, I got the uh, tag, the signal text wrong. Um, when I did this before, I went like four and one like that. Now that means this one is actually space one for the tag. So you have to do them without spaces, and then that would do four and one. So you can do multiple tags with commas. You just have to make sure you don't put any spaces afterwards. It's just force of habit putting a space in there because that's just how my brain wanted to do it. So yeah. Um, okay, so we copy this, paste that there. I'm holding control to copy these with their uh, thing inside. Um, so um, and then paste that there. And this is four. Okay. Do, 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 do. And this is four here. And where are we going to do this? So this side is the loading. This side is the unloading. So we're going to have to take this apart. We have to sh start shutting stuff th stuff there. Start shutting stuff down. Speak English would help. Um, so yeah, we have to. Um, and then we need to figure out right, what we're going to do here. So the processing area wants to be for doing animal feed, and to do that, we need a lumber mill, we need food mill, and a stone mason. Okay, we don't necessarily have to use those things. So like the stonemason, I think can also be um, in uh, mining. Um, let's see here, mining. Uh, yeah, that also the stone. So we could do that over at the mining center if we really wanted to. Um, but it does require a stonemason to be here. We can just put one into it. So a mill, a food mill, and a um so uh, let's go lumber mill food mill and a stone mason. Oop. That will give us the ability to set the town to processing. Yep, I did work. Awesome. And then we can figure out what the press we want to do. So we want to Pickups on this side. We're going to have pickups on this side here, and then drop off that side. So we need to drop off our. So ironically, the uh, the grain's going to get picked up there, travel all the way around to get dropped off here. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Um, hmm. Hmm. What if I can't get eight more lines in there? So I can't do. We could. We don't have to have space in between as well. We can do lines like in in between them. Um, I just need space for visual things. But we could put a line in between as well, and we could have trains traveling different routes. Like one could go this way, and then. One could also go this way. Um, so depending on where a train is, we can pick and choose whether we want to send it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Just to save it having to drive all the way around the track and come back again. Because that's a bit redundant. If it, if it picks up here, picks up the grain here, and has to drop it off right here. We might as well try and figure the clockwise anti-clockwise rails out straight away. There's no reason to have... Yeah, there's no reason I can think to, to have that, so. What about sharing tracks? Um, what about, what about if we went? This is track one and two. This is three and four. One and two clockwise. One and two anti-clockwise. Three and four clockwise, three and four anti-clockwise. And then we can tag our trains to say, well, hey, if you, if you come out of here, uh, you want to go on the anti-clockwise one, which wouldn't be difficult to do. 
because we'd have a train here we should be tacked to one but it'd be tacked to one uh it'd be anti-clockwise that wouldn't work Um, I can't. I can't think of a way to make it. Um, the, the reason it would work is that we we can have it anti-clockwise. So it comes down here and it goes, "Hey, I'm an anti-clockwise train, so I'll go this way," which is fine. Um, and then it comes down here and picks up the uh, animal feed, or so drops it. Then it comes back in and it goes, "I'm anti-clockwise, so I go that way." It doesn't want to go anti-clockwise. It wants to go clockwise. I wonder if we could also like you can't tag these with um you can tag them with the basic type of things but we're not doing the basic type of things in places we're doing um we're doing the town specializations so that wouldn't really work We can tag it with actual. Stuff. Hmm. We'll just deal with them all going, going clockwise. Deal with them all just going clockwise. And the, this train has to go all the way around to get to this one. To then come back again. Which, um, is, is, so it drops off in here. Um. Because really, the train would be stationed here. It'll come up, it'll come down here, and when it comes back in, it wants to go back and along. That's what I want it to do, realistically. So... Hmm. Hmm. How would I do that? How would I do that? I can't think of a way to... Um, so let's just build the thing first. Let's just build things first. And I'll think about that kind of as I'm going. So let's get rid of this here. So we're going to have to shut this down here completely, I think. Um, so, yeah, get rid of that. Um, the We want to have... Uh, oh, where is it? Where's our, where's our templates here? Oh, uh, that one. Uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna have train station here for it. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% with it. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, but I need to get this recorded and out. Uh, because uh, Timberborn is currently not available because uh i can't um get to work with mods so i've got to have at least one video out of the day well right so you are a drop off and you will drop off in here um this is going to be great okay you are four so that's there so if we did that, we then cut that off. That was the way we was planning to have it originally. How would we... So that would come down there. This would be grain. You are a grain pusher. Boom. So any train that has grain will come down here and go, hey, don't drop off all my stuff and we want to have you hold it empty. So you'll drop your stuff there and then you'll come back in and you'll come up and you will join this track and come this way. And you'll be grain and you come down here and you'll pick the grain up and then you'll come back up and then you'll go to here and then you'll go that way all around. All around. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
but how do I do this? We could have like I can't do clockwise anti-clockwise because as I said, if if I go anti-clockwise, then it will come up here and it will go, hey, I'm four anti-clockwise, which would be you know this one over. So we'll come along here. That's fine. We'll come down here or we'll figure out the, the, the actual thing there. Um but on but on. But then when the train comes back up again, it needs to know whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. And if it's anti-clockwise, it will go that way. So I need it to be clockwise when it gets here, but anti-clockwise when it's here. I wonder whether I wonder whether it would make more sense to tag them based on distance. So like hey, if you turn uh, clockwise here. Uh, so the closest stations on that one turning clockwise will be uh, one, two, three. Although three is directly opposite. So one, one, two, three. And then five and six. Wait, have we got the number block here? We haven't got the number block yet. Hmm. Um, so this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, because eight was magic, correct? Yes, um, magic wants to be a bud desert, so that's how I do it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, from here, when you leave this one, if you go clockwise, you will go to one, two, three, five, and six. If you go anti clockwise, you'll go four. And one, two, three, four. And if you're anti clockwise, you'll go one, two, three, four. Do it that way. So if you're clockwise, you go to four stations. So clockwise will be uh, one, two, five, and six. Anti clockwise will be three, four, seven, and eight. That'd be the best way to do it, I think. And then we'll just have to gauge it from wherever we are. So if you come over here and you actually want to go to town four, you will automatically go anti-clockwise because it makes sense. But I still need the eight rails because I need two going clockwise and two um, two going anti-clockwise for each one. So we share some rails. So this would be one and two. This would be five and six. This would be three and four. And that'd be seven and eight. Nope. Because I need I don't want trains crashing into each other. That's what I don't want. So if this goes clockwise, and then this one goes anti-clockwise, and then this one goes clockwise, and this one goes anti, and this one goes clock, anti, clock, anti. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, because then you'd come up, you'd meet this one, and you'd go that way anyway. Oh, fiddle sticks. I don't know what to do, because I have to have dedicated rails for clockwise and anti-clockwise. Because if I say, hey, you're going to go clockwise because that's where one and two is, um, and then a train over here um, says, well, hey, I want to go to one, so one's going to be anti-clockwise, the two shall meet in the middle and crash into each other. Which is not what... Well, Let's just turn these around. Hang on. Uh, no. No, I can't just turn them around because, again, trains will be traveling in the wrong direction. Oh, come on, brain. Come on, brain. How do we do this? How do we do this? I can't think of how to do this. I cannot think of how to do this. 
Um, I just don't want to drive all around. I, uh, driving all around just seems like a complete waste of fuel and everything like that. Fuel is something else we need to deal with as well. I need to, I need to get fuel into them. I think the fuel stops will probably be like the four four points. So they'd be here and here. And here. So yeah, um, that's easy enough. That. That's just a coal mine and some water. I'm sorry, I cannot envision how I want this to work. My brain is not letting me see how I can do this. So let me let me try and figure this out here. So and we obviously we need to change these to be clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on which way the train's coming in. So So this will be track one and two clockwise, and this will be track one and two anti-clockwise. I should probably move this track in. So we have the two paired to each other. And then we leave a gap, another two paired, and gap, another two paired. That would make more sense. And it would it would be visually easier for me to understand as well. Um so let's remove all this for the minute. Um, just clear out that segment there, please. So if we did this, so that's that's one, two, clockwise, and then this will be anti-clockwise, one and two. Okay. And then this will be three and four clockwise, and that will be three and four anti-clockwise. So it'll go that way, 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 or that way, and or that way. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, we wouldn't even need the top line then, would we? No, maybe? Uh, actually, we can put... Do we have space to do all the dedicated lines? So, one, no, no. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Yeah. So we do that. So each one still has a dedicated line. Okay. And here, um, this will still be one. This will become one. This will be two. Uh, oh, don't push enter. E two, and I'm using capital letters. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. <clears throat> I'm labeling them all, even though we're not going to use all of them. Five and five. Uh, six. Six, damn it. We do that there that's fine and then this will not connect to the anti-clockwise because one and two is clockwise for us <clears throat> so it doesn't connect to anti-clockwise um uh so one is clockwise two is clockwise so that one's go there three is anti-clockwise for us although where's three on board three on board is uh, is there so yeah so three's three's um three is anti-clockwise so we skip that one we go anti-clockwise four is anti-clockwise 
Uh, five is clockwise. Six is clockwise. Seven is anti. And eight is anti. And I messed that up. And the pushers can't push if the train cannot go that way. And we just have to build the tracks in that sort of way. We just have to custom build the tracks at each point. So so if we're going clockwise, it's the first line. If we're going anti-clockwise, it's the second. And we just do it. So the train will come up here. It'll go, I'm a one train. And I know that number one drop-off is to the right, uh, uh, clockwise. So we go clockwise onto the clockwise track. It's not anti-clockwise, so I can't go onto the anti-clockwise track. And two is the same. And two won't go that way. And the three won't go that way because there's no thing for it. And four and three will go this way. And four and four. Let's test this here. I Means I need to change up this track here. Um, to be so one, two, three, and four. So this one is that right? Yes. Okay. So zoom and zoom. Okay. Um, you're possibly not even going to be a track anymore. I'm not sure. Uh, no, you will be a track. Okay, so we'll leave you there. Um, and then what we do is uh, this will have the same thing as this. So I need to make a blueprint of this, but I need to get rid of the rails out of it. So let's um, do this. Put it down here next to the other rails but get rid of the rails so remove block click on the rails do, 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 do like that what we want to do is we want to put in the rails actually no i don't want to put in the rails at all if i'm honest with you we can do the rails ourselves so we just copy this come down paste it there okay because it's the same thing and it will copy one two three four just so i don't have to type the whole thing every single time uh, this is the return rail so this is going to want to know so one is that way um two is that way one two three and four anti-clockwise so three will go that way and four will go that way to the top rail That was the wrong line. Okay. Um, five is clockwise. Six is clockwise. For us, is five and six clockwise? Uh-oh. Uh oh this is going to become a little complicated. Once it's in place, it's fine. Uh, that's why I want to unlock the number. Can we unlock the number? What is this hidden behind? Advanced logistics. Can we unlock this? Um, advanced logistics we can unlock the number block cool um number block is a it's a mathematic block but um i'm going to use it as a uh well in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace oh no that's going to do weird things to the um uh, <clears throat> let's remove the silos okay let's put in the crates Make life a little bit easier to manage this thing. Ah! <laughs> it really likes um, dragging that out. Okay, and then number block. I don't think I can rotate these. I can rotate them. Uh, let's see what that is for two, for instance. That so that's that's so that way is north. So I want to actually uh, copy this and rotate it twice, don't I? Yeah. So page up, page up. Um, doop, 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 doop. Okay. 
So you are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. Okay. That makes life easier for me to see things. Uh, when we're doing stuff now so i can quickly go ah oh, this one this way this one this one so it's just easier for me to see so from here one two five and six are clockwise just realized that this town is going to be directly opposite this town when it comes to stuff uh hold on hold on hold on yeah yeah it's going to be directly opposite this one here maybe we can't do that maybe the outputs and the inputs here won't work although we could say eight is anti-clockwise so yeah so one two five and six are clockwise so uh one two uh three four five six seven eight you may be confused by this because i'm confused by it as well but hopefully uh i'm explaining it as i go so you can understand what i'm trying to do here um uh, then let me remove this for a moment here okay and then you want to have basically an input from each and every one of these in every scenario because uh, you want to be green so you have an input there an input there I can see a fault with this. I can see a fault with it. Can you see the fault with it? Can you see the fault with it? Um, I can see a fault with this straight away. And um, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for this episode. We're going to come back next time. And I'm going to give you all some homework. What is the problem with this scenario? With the train systems? With the trains? What is the problem with this scenario? We're obviously going to have... Um, uh, we're going to say, hey, could you come down for grain this way? Um, for each one can you tell me what the problem is going to be here it's very very obvious um, <laughs> but I'm going to leave this for now and we're going to come in next time and I will try and figure the problem out when I'm a bit more awake thank you very much for watching everybody I hope you have enjoyed this one and I do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun